a new day, a new road to 136 million flux video. If you haven't seen the last episode, make sure you watch the whole series in chronological order. The link will be down in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Day 2. After logging into Trove right after I just woke up, just as expected, each and every one of these 17 Stormy mounts were sold. This included 5 mounts that I had bought from Lux in the day prior, and another 12 Stormy mounts that I had bought at 120,000 Flux in hopes of flipping them for a quick buck, and which actually worked overnight, bagging me a profit of 360,000 Flux overnight. Now, sitting at around 3.5 million flux, I had unlocked a brand new flux farming method for myself to continue on this journey, which is going to be none other than the ever profitable gardening. I'm not going to be making the same mistake I did in the last episode. Now, this time I had done my homework. My plans today? To focus mainly on gardening alone. But the main question was, what would I be actually planting? Simple, build the right shrub seeds. Why are these seeds so popular, you might ask? Well, let's just do the maths right here and right now. Throughout the span of 15 days, you'd be obtaining 115 build right per harvest and you'd be getting 5 different harvests within the span of those 15 days. That's a total of 675 build right from one single seed in its lifetime. By using the market value of 43 flux or so per builderite, that gives us a grand total of 29,025 flux of revenue from the seed itself. And the crafting cost? Just a mere 15,450 flux, 4 moonlight bulbs, and 25 concentrated compost. Pretty neat, eh? So for each builderite plant that I'd be placing down, I'd be getting a profit of 13,000 575 flux after 15 days. I could probably just ignore the overall price of a concentrated compost in its entirety because I've still got over 360,000 of them. So into the permafrost world we go. I'd prefer the permafrost biome over Fae first due to the fact that the world is just overall just less crowded which means there'd be more space for my neon ninja to maneuver in and the moonlight bows would you know, in its entirety, be more easier to spot. So in an hour, I managed to farm a total of 251 Moonlight Bulbs. Well, it's on a Friday, so there's gonna be no surprise there, and I crafted a humble total of 60 Builderite Shrub Seeds. So, mathematically speaking, in that very hour, I'd be making 814,500 Flux after a total of 15 days. Not too shabby, but it doesn't end here just yet. Remember that video in which I talked about the official statement Gamigo made for the use of alternate accounts in Trove? If you don't remember it, make sure you check out the link in the top right hand corner of your screen or down in the description below. But to summarize, I figured I could be more efficient. I could get better rates. 800,000 flux per hour after 15 days just doesn't cut it. I need a better performance to get to the end goal as quick as possible, so I began on a very ambitious journey. One that would prove to be a very big brain investment in the long run. You see, if I'm only getting 250 Moonlight Bulbs per hour on one single account, then wouldn't it be more effective if I were to farm on several different accounts manually at the same time? And that was what I planned to do. But the problem was, how could I use the Moonlight Bulbs if the accounts weren't at max gardening level just yet? So here's where the investment part comes into play. I had a set plan to get these alternate accounts to level 300 gardening. I'd craft the cheapest possible items for levels and squeeze in as much build the right seeds as I can inside the remaining 2.4 million flux that I had for the day. On your screen is a quick video sample of how I leveled 4 alternates in the same manner for the gardening levels, and at the end of all the flux spending, I had barely over a million flux left to continue. But that didn't matter. Time to send in the cavalry. In we go into permafrost with 5 different accounts simultaneously, so I did. 
I added all of my alternate accounts in the same party, invited them every single time I found a Moonlight Bulb, and at the end of a rather short farm, well, short in comparison to the farm that I actually did earlier, I managed to garner a total of 400 Moonlight Bulbs in total within the span of 40 minutes. That's 600 Moonlight Bulbs per hour on a non-gathering day. So, what was left was to just craft all of the seeds. So I did, and boy did I actually cut it close. So now I'm sitting with a total of 160 Builderite Shrub Seeds, close to zero flux, and a little bit of relief that I was actually able to pull it off with the amount of flux that I had. The reason why it was super important that I planted all the seeds on this very day was because the next harvest was during the next reset, which, might I remind you, is going to be 7 in the evening in my time zone. So thus far, 3.4 million flux burned, invested them for the greater good in the long term in 4 feisty slaves and 160 builderite shrub seeds. Now, all I've got to do is just to wait for the reset to actually happen. Alrighty, it's harvest time, 160 builderite plants, 99 tentacle plants, how much flux can we garner from these plants? Let's take a look at the total amount of items I managed to harvest today. 18,400 builderites, 1,485 tentacles of QB flu, now we're talking, in one harvest alone from the build rights, I'd garner a total of 791,200 flux. Now that's going to be a good number to keep in mind because multiply that by 5 and that would be the total I'd be getting over the span of 15 days. That brings the projected total from these build right seeds to a total of 3,956,000 flux. And as calculated in the previous episode, 1,312,500 flux from the tentacle seeds. Now that we know, the seeds will grant me a total of 5,268,500 flux after a span of 15 days. Let's tune in into the progress that I've made today. Firstly, I've got 4 alternate accounts to speed up my bulb farming for seed production. Secondly, a decent startup to gardening with the current plants that I've got. And thirdly, a flux amount of 689,583 flux. Now, let's talk about my plans for the days to come. I'm going to be trying my best to hoard as much flux as I can within the next 3 days, because by the next time gathering day rolls around, the new Valentine event will be up and running. This means investments, and possibly stonks from good investment decisions, if there are going to be any farmable mounts or farmable mastery items at all. I'll be focusing on two different things with my flux at this point. The first one would be spending them on planting even more seeds on Tuesday, and the second would be to allocate a decent amount for flipping events or just usual mounts. I guess we'll probably end this episode on a rather good note. Not too much direct profit made today, however we did set up the groundwork for a very very effective exponential growth in the days to come. I'm excited to say the least to see how the progression would be in the next couple of episodes. If you'd like to keep up to date with the Flux Farming series, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. As usual, peace out.